Around the bend, there's gonna be a guy that has another mini game involving a shovel. Welcome to the treasure field. The object is to dig as many holes as you can in 30 seconds. Any treasures you dig up will be yours to keep. It's only 80 rupees to play. Let's do it. Then I'll lend you a shovel. Dude, I already have one. Okay, fine. Give me your shovel. I'll have two shovels. One in each hand. I'll just do it twice as fast. Fine by me. Anyways, when you have it in your hand, press the A button to start digging. Okay, here we go. There's a certain item that I want to get in here. You pretty much know what it's going to be. See, I like the shovel in this game. It's much more improved. Oh, where is it? Come on, baby. Oh, dink. You can't dig in the same spot twice. There it is. Piece of heart. And I've already made all my money back, too. I'll just keep digging for the heck of it, though. Okay, time's up. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins! Okay, I'm just kidding. No Leroy Jenkins. Time's up. Game over. Come back anytime. Goodbye. Oh, let me get that rupee just for the heck of it. There. So there, there's now seven... Yep. Seven heart pieces to go. So it looks like I am done on this side of the dark world. Let me just look up here just in case. I'm gonna go around the bend, though. So let me see. Yeah, I don't think there's anything over here. Yep, just a dead end. So let's see. I'm gonna actually head back towards the village of outcasts. And get this out. The, uh... Magic mirror, so I'll walk back towards Kakariko Village, but I want to go up here first. And head towards where Thieves Town is. Get. Where is it? There it is, right there. What I'm going to do now, right in front of this weather vane, is use the Ocarina. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I just ruin your moment? I didn't mean to do that during the tune. Actually, I did that on purpose, of course. But by playing the uh, ocarina, that weather vane turned into a duck. You notice that the duck was not flying for very long compared to the Super NES version. The duck flies around for like four loops around the, the statue before flying away. So they did that a little bit faster as well. So let me play the flute, or I'm sorry, the ocarina once again. And then the duck takes me to one of eight locations. The ninth location will, of course, be at Turtle Rock, but I won't be able to get there until I get to that point. So let's see. I don't think I need to go to any of these areas yet. Let's see. I think I'm all set for number two. Since I already have full bottles, I don't need to go to the Witch's Hut. But I do need to go to the the uh, cemetery. I did. I do need to go to number six eventually. Let me go back to. Let's see. Yeah, why not? Let's go to number two. And just head back towards the cemetery that way. It's the shortest route possible. Let's just hope there's a dock up here. Okay. Good. Alright, because with a Titan's Mitt in hand, now I can access this. And enter this gravestone. Down the hallway is a chest containing the magic cape. You're invisible, and yeah, invisible when you wear it, but watch your magic meter. It's just a little accessory that you can wear right here where you're invisible and you can't be hurt by pretty much anything. I kind of like another certain item a little bit better, but I'll get to it once I access it at some point in the game. And what do you know? There's only three empty spots to go for my item inventory. As you can tell, there's one more medallion to earn, but what about those other two spots? Oh, I'll have to find out until I get to that certain point in the game. But for now, let's just get out of the cemetery. Again, no. Shoo! Pea brains. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. You know what I forgot to do in this Let's Play? 
Let's see if the, uh, the priest is still there. It's kind of optional at this point. Let's find out. He's gone. So, uh, after you pick up the Master Sword and Zelda becomes abducted by Aghanim, if you want to, you can head back to the sanctuary here where the priest is laying down. He'll speak to you for a little bit before he dies and disappears for good. What I did instead, though, is I went right to Hyrule Castle, so it looks like we don't get to see what he has to say. Maybe if I think about it, I'll probably play this game a little bit over again off screen and get to the point where he's lying, almost dying, and I'll show you what he has to say. But again, I'll still think about it. Link, if only you had come sooner. A group of soldiers were here. They took Princess Zelda. I fear they have taken her to the highest room in the tower. They mean to sacrifice her. You must find her before the wizard works his magic. Please, Link. You are our only hope. So, I don't think there's anything in here. It's right, one of these has apples. Wait, wait! Ah! Bees! Bees! No! No! No, 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 no! Wait, did you see that soldier? His head turned straight backwards like an owl! Ow! He must have neck problems. Oh, and another area I want to go to up here in the light world. I need to go back to where the lumberjacks are. Oh my god, look at these birds. Oh, oh, no, uh, uh, no, get, get, no, 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 birds, birds, no birds, no birds, no, get. Jeez. Give me that rupee. See, the lumberjacks have done their job with this tree. You can tell that the tree has a different color. So what if I did this? Hey, a secret entryway. All right, uh, I'm late for a very important date. If you keep going down here, well, I do have an empty, uh, yeah, I have an empty bottle in hand, so let's scoop one up. Just in case. Alright, with that, going through this cave. Hey, it's that hard piece I saw earlier in the Let's Play. I finally got it now. Six pieces to go. And this loops back around behind the Lumberjack's house. Let's enter this house and see what that Lumberjack has to say now. Oops, uh-oh, I broke the log in. I have no strength left. I can't cut trees like the giants, but I'm very good at riddles. So he's just saying the same thing. So just ignore him. So let's see. What else should I do? I don't think there's anything else I can do in Kakariko Village. But I should go back there just in case. So I don't overlook anything. Let's see. Is there bombs underneath here? Let me check. Yeah, like I thought. So in the Dark World, they give you two fairies instead. Uh-oh, soldier. Yeah, I can't think of anything to do here in Kakariko Village. I've already got the, the duck from the weather vane. There's that portal still sitting there. Oh, and then, I'm, oh crap, I got caught in the bushes. Oh, that woman's... Oh, that guy is not there anymore. There was a guy that I once chased. He was standing, like, right here. If you had chased him down with the Pegasus boots, he'll tell you something about hitting trees with the Pegasus boots, revealing good stuff. But I've already told you about that, so... Looks like I didn't really miss anything on that guy. And the old lady that used to sweep here, if you sprinkle powder on her, she turns into a fairy. But she's gone, too. But yeah, it looks like Kakari... Uh, Kakariko Village is pretty much done and over with. So I don't need to come back here anymore. But I do want to do this. I want to head north. Head up this way towards the Lost Woods. And I need to go up here. Yep, over here. This is an area I haven't gone up to yet. With the Titan's Mint, I can lift this up. Or if you came around, you can use the magic hammer to pound these stakes. Now underneath this rock is a portal leading to the Dark World. And since I'm already back here in the Dark World, 
I'm also just go down back to where I was here. Yep, here's the same old structure that I once was back in the fourth dungeon. So this room up over here that I'm looking at is where I bombed that floor with the big sunlight. And then this long building right here is the hallway leading to this room, which led back down into the re remainder of Thieves Town. Yeah, you know pretty much what this is now that I've already told you, but like I said, it's a nice touch that they, that they put something like this in here. It's really cool. But let's see, let me look at my map. Let's see what else I'm missing. I've already did the Lost Woods. I haven't been up towards that area yet in the Dark World where the Lumberjacks once were. Let me see if there's anything up there. So this area contains uh, some monsters. I think that house is just a shop. Oh, that's right, I gotta take you guys to that shop that I mentioned a little bit earlier in the Let's Play. Yeah, it's just a normal shop here. What's behind the house, though? Nothing. So let me go down a little bit ways towards those weird woods. Oh, there's some trees. Oh, there's a heart piece. You know what? I can, I can actually get that right now. No, 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 no. Oh, just thing bird. Get out of here. Shoo. Let's do that right now and just take care of it. No, shoot, 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 shoot. Ooh, ooh, that was close. I thought I was gonna get hit. Okay, I need the hook shot, which I have equipped, which is good. Go around here and Hey, I can't get through this. What gives? Not for long. With the magic cape. Easy. Just like that. If you don't have the magic cape, there's no way to get by that blue pinball-like bumper. Just one more heart piece for another heart container. Five heart pieces to go in this game. And will you just leave me alone, bird? No, 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 no! Jeez! These enemies do so much damage! I need that heart, but that bird's gonna come after me. Uh -huh. Okay, I don't need the magic cape for now. Probably don't need to use the magic cape ever, now that I've gotten that heart piece. So let's see, what else? Oh yeah, I gotta go down to where that shop is. This area right down here where all these woods are. Ooh! Like-likes. Uh-oh. They look a little different this time compared to Link to the Past. Or maybe there was none in Link to the Past. Oh, I don't remember. These like-likes might be exclusive to the Game Boy Advance version. I'll look it up and just do some fact-checking. There's that shop I mentioned. In order to get to it, though... Jeez, what the... Whew, that was so close. How did I ever dodge all that? In such a dangerous world, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if you couldn't find the fountain that upgrades your shield, you can buy the upgraded shield right here for... Pff, a whopping 500 rupees. That's very expensive. That's like Mr. Dink would say, of course. But yep, that's pretty much it for this area. Get out of here. Jeez. Just avoid trouble. Okay, there we go. Now, there's a little bit of a section up here that I want to check out. It's actually just around the corner. Yep, there's some rocks formed into an arrow shape. What if I dig here? Let me take care of this enemy first. He's a distraction. Eh -huh. Jackpot! Well, not quite a jackpot. It's like, what, 50 rupees? What's a nice little thing that they added there. Now, once where the sanctuary used to be is now this cave. Go down it. And there's an octopus. Hey, I'll tell you a profitable story if you pay me 20 rupees. Let's do it. Ha, huh, thank you. To tell you the truth, I saw incredible beauty inside the pyramid. But someone went and sealed the door. The nerve. Not even a bomb will blow it open now. At least not a standard one. And he heals your hearts too. So keep that in mind what he said about the, uh... You know what, I actually never spoken about that back at the pyramid. I'll probably will speak about it a little bit later on, but right now... I need to find a point where I can end the episodes. Let me just do this. I'm gonna kill all the enemies in the area first. So that none of them can hit me when I stop the episode. Including the Henox up here. Okay, one. Let's try another one. Two. There we go. 
There. Now I can end the episode. Jeez. Uh, my throat cracked a little bit. Sorry. <clears throat> now I can end the episode proper. I've been recording for about 34 minutes, so it's been long enough. So with that, next time in my Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, I think what I'm going to do is just continue doing a little bit more exploring. Let me take a look at my map first and just take a look around. There is a spot that I like to check over near Lake Hylia, but where else? Hmm. You know what? I don't think I can find anywhere else to explore. Well, there's also Death Mountain, but I'd rather save that until much later. But yeah, I think it's safe to say that I can head right to Lake Hylia, check something out where the Ice Rod used to be, then head right into the 5th Dungeon, which is the Ice Palace, in which that is located right at Lake Hylia. So, kind of like the perfect point to go to. So that is what I'll exactly do in the next episode. So with that, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more. And don't forget to check out my general channel, Marcus P. Welby, for lots of random content. I will see you later, but until then, like always, take care.